Hey, what's going on, Arian? This is Jack here. It was nice talking to you over the phone today. So here's that video analysis that I promised. Uh, what I want to do is I want to talk about um, exactly what your website needs to be uh, doing in order to rank uh, on Google for all the different keywords we want to go after, um, what your competition is doing, and how we need to uh, go about doing your SEO and your online marketing so that you can um, rank higher than them and be at the number one spot for all the different keywords we want to go after. All right, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I did was I actually pulled up your website here in a tool called AREFs. AREFs allows uh, search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a website and see what's been working out for you. Um, what I can see right off the bat is uh, there has been a minimal SEO done on the website, and we just need to make sure that we do a little bit more so that um, Google can find your website to be authoritative um, which in turn is going to affect how high you rank for those keywords as well as how quickly you rank for them um, once your authority on your website is established. Established. So let me explain that here in a second. So basically, Arian, um, uh, when we're trying to understand Google's algorithm and trying to rank uh, you for all the different keywords, we recognize that there is a large portion of Google's algorithm that Google takes into account in determining how authoritative one website is over another, and authority is basically what makes one website rank higher than another, as well as relevancy. But um, for the main part, uh, the, the things that build up your authority are mainly uh, two or three things. It's your the authority. Uh, it's the uh, number of backlinks that are linking back to your website. The the content and making sure that it's relative content to the uh, um, things that you provide, as well as citations if you are a local business. On top of that, actually, in the fourth one uh, nowadays, it's kind of like a social shares and engagement and that kind of thing. But um, I'll explain these four metrics here in a second. Let me start with the first one, okay? So in order for you to rank as high as possible on Google, the first thing and the most important metric is actually the number of backlinks that are linking back to your website. So what I mean by this is, um, let's say for example, there is a blog out there that's called the, um, the Hardwood Flooring Blog. And they go out there and they make a new blog post and they say, hey, if you're looking for the best hardwood flooring contractor or hardwood flooring company, check out, sequim, or check out infinityhardwood.com. And if uh, a person clicked on the link, it would actually direct them to your website. So just in the fact that the person has a hyperlink, that this blog is linking back to your website via hyperlink, is actually tracked by Google. And we consider that a backlink in the SEO field. And um, it's tracked by Google. And the more of these you have, the more of uh, these other websites are talking about your website and linking back to your website, the more Google's going to see that you're the kind of website that other websites like to talk about and that you're the kind of website that other websites like to refer their own visitors and their traffic to. So it's a very powerful trust signal and it builds the authority. So we want to make sure that it's, it's like a popularity contest. You want a lot of these um, other websites linking back to your website. Uh, the other thing that um, that's very important in building the authority on your website is your content. And so uh, back in the day, uh, there were things called meta tags, where and meta description. Well, meta descriptions are still a thing, but there were meta tags where basically in the back end you could um, hard code uh, into your website exactly what kind of keywords you want to go after. So if in this case it was hardwood flooring, you would say like hardwood flooring, um, Washington hardwood flooring, um, uh, sequim. Right, but nowadays, uh, what Google realized was that anyone could just build out a website and just put those keywords in, even though the website was crap, even though it wasn't very good quality. Um, anyone could just put those uh, keywords in quickly and start ranking highly for them. And so Google realized that this could be abused, and what they did was they changed their algorithm so that instead of using these meta keywords and things like that, what they took into account for the majority of uh, understanding exactly what the website is about um, is the actual content on your website. So when we see right here, you can see right here, this is uh, basically basically all the content that you have and you and you snuck in some keywords in here this actually used to work um a few years ago, I guarantee this is not going to work. This is not helping you at all by having this loading this keywords because uh what Google's algorithm does is it goes and scans your website and if and if it sees things like this where you basically just stuffed keywords into your website, um Google's going to realize that it's unnatural. They can recognize these kinds of things because there's no grammar. There's this is not a sentence. You've just literally just stuffed keywords into a big par paragraph. And so Google recognized this, so I guarantee this is not helping you, unfortunately. Instead, what you need to do is you need to layer in these kinds of keywords into an actual sentence. Google can recognize between a complete sentence and a non-complete sentence, and they can recognize a good kind of content as opposed to bad kind of content. And so um, our goal as an SEO company is to make sure that Google understands exactly what your website is about, as well as uh, what kind of keywords you want to rank for. And uh, I recognize what kind of keywords you want to rank for. I mean, you've, you've stuffed them in here. We just need to make sure we do it correctly in the kosher way 
that Google's looking for uh, you to do. That way you rank for all these different keywords. You're going to get a lot more um, um, ranking here in hardwood laminate and vinyl VCT for these kinds of keywords because it's actually layered into your uh, paragraph than just stuffing it down here, unfortunately. And that's just how it works. And so content is huge. We want to shoot for about seven to 1,500 words of content, at least on the home page. And then we want to have a couple of more pages so that um, it's not just the three-page uh, website. So um, when I was talking to you about that quote for the website build, uh, part of it is actually building out the website so you have more web pages. The reason being is um, Google recognizes that the most authoritative web kind of websites have tons and tons of pages. Facebook, think about how many pages Facebook has. Think about how many pages a big, big journal like the Wall Street Journal or, or um, or any newsletter like Reddit, you know, those kinds of things have pages and pages and pages. And that's why they rank so well for all the different kinds of keywords because it's such a big website. And so that's part of the uh, 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 a factor, having the content and having the amount of content on your actual website, right? Because authoritative websites that have a lot to say about the industry just tend to have a lot of content that people can like, share, comment, that kind of thing. And so uh, that's very important. The third thing is your citations. So um, citations are, are basically any website directories that you can submit your name, address, and phone number to. And so um, what this does is because uh, you serve a local market in your local area, um, there are a bunch of these website directories out there that you can submit your information to. So if you're a hardwood flooring company, there's a lot of website directories where you can, uh, where hardwood flooring contractors and general contractors can submit their information to. And what this does is Google actually crawls through these directories and basically uses that information to determine how legitimate a website is. So what happens is when you can submit your name, address, and phone number, it shows Google that you're the kind of website that has a legitimate name, a legitimate address that serves the location that you use. Uh, provide and a legitimate phone number that's uh, located in the area that you provide as well. So it shows Google that you're a legitimate business. You're not. You didn't just kind of create a website and then throw that on there, um, ho hoping to rank locally. And um, you're going to start getting a lot of credit in your local searches for those kinds of keywords. So what I mean by that is, if I go on here and I use incognito, so it doesn't save my previous history, um, and I search what I search flooring sequim. You'll see that, and this actually is more powerful on your mobile phone because uh, uh, Google has their wizardry and they can find exactly where you're located, right? And so then uh, you don't even have to type in Cyclone, you can just type in flooring and it'll come up with your most local locations. But you'll see right here, you'll see Straight Floors Incorporated, Mokrari Carpet One, and Classic Hardwood Floors are the first three listings that show up in this Google search. And you want to make sure that you are on these three spots because uh, no one, it's just statistically not, barely any people actually hit the, uh, the more more options to actually find other um, hardwood flooring companies in the area. So you know what? I don't infinity wood floor. So you see right here, um, you're on the one, two, three, four, five, sixth spot. So if we bump you up three more spots, you would literally be here on this top three. And what what gets factored into that uh, uh, deciding which ones get at the top of Google is things like citations, um, what I just talked about. And that's just cooked into Google's algorithm. We know that because we have tons of clients that we actually have uh, case studies and we actually have provided results for, right? So I'm not talking about this things from based on things that I've read or, or um, what I've uh, learned from masterminds and things like that. These are things that we implement every single day, right? We are a, a, a local business um, that serves uh, not just local clients, but national clients, e-commerce clients, all kinds of things. So we're very familiar with Google's algorithm, and exactly what it takes to rank uh, your website at the top. And we know that citation is a big part of that factor. Um, reviews are another part of that factor. So um, we need to help you out with that. Um, we can absolutely help you with that as well. But we want to make sure that you show up here in the local searches for uh, things like flooring and that kind of, and hardwood floors and hardwood flooring and that kind of thing, because this right here gets a lot of traffic. A lot of people are going to see these three, and then they're going to uh, click on these three, even before even going into the uh, the organic listings. And then on top of that, I guarantee you these straight floors guys are killing it in your local area uh, because they have the number one spot on the organic search, and they have the number one spot for the organic uh, listing for the phrase flooring and sequin. And so we need to make sure that we rank you higher than people like these guys. I'm telling you right now, though, I've already done my analysis on these guys and your uh, some of your other competitors like Fairchild, um, Flores and McRory right here as well. And uh, it's not a lot of competition. It's not hard for us to beat them. Uh, we work with lawyers and uh, and that kind of thing that, that have a way larger population like in Denver um, that we rank. 
And it, it, compared to that kind of thing, um, this is this is not hard for us to rank you. Make sure that you're on the top of the fr front page because just the sheer lack of competition, right? So this is a great chance for you to come in, take that number one spot, start bringing traffic to your website, and actually be able to convert those leads into actual sales rather than trying to go out there on Reddit and uh, wherever else that you're posting, like um, um, Instagram and things like that, and actually start getting leads from your website. Um, we actually have one company that we work with called um, Arm Window Tent. Recently, we just picked them up a few months ago, and they're killing it. I actually personally built out this website for them. And uh, you can see right here, um, what we did is we built out a nice, fleshed-out website. We have all the socials listings right here. We got a, uh, a nice little thing right here that shows Google uh, Arm Window Tent, a nice little copy. But don't take it from us here, what we call ourselves today. And it's killing it for them. They're getting call, phone calls every single day. I have a, a track that basically uh, collects all these emails, leads that, that people submit. And these guys get like five to seven every single day now. And we haven't even like tapped into a lot of other things like car wraps that they're looking into and it's just blowing them out and uh, it, it's insane the amount of work that we're doing for them. But you can see how I've built, basically built out many, many pages that specifically target some of the keywords that we want to go after and it has lots of content on there so that Google can recognize exactly what the website is about and give you credit for that. So uh, what I would recommend doing right off the bat with the actual website, this needs to be a click to call so when people are on their phone they can actually just click on it and it'll take them to the dial pad. Um, we need to make sure that you have a contact form like this right here, request a free quote, um, because uh, uh, not everyone's comfortable with actually calling your phone number, but a lot more people are comfortable with actually um, doing this request a quote form and filling out the information themselves, and then you're reaching out to them at a convenient time. Um, and, and I know that for a fact because these submissions they get every single day, like I said. And so we need to make sure that we implement that. That way we can increase your conversion rates. Conversion rates meaning uh, if there's 100 people visiting, visiting your website, instead of one person reaching out to you like by, by a phone, it's going to be closer to like four or five people, uh, maybe one coming from your phone, four, three or four people coming from the contact form. Right. That way it's effectively tripling or quadrupling your business um, just by having those conversion rate optimization uh, factors in there as well. And then the other thing is um, what I was talking to you about earlier is making sure because you have some awesome photos on your Instagram page, we want to make Make sure that you have something like this right here. So this is one of the uh, other clients, but you can see right here, uh, these images, these rolling out images, uh, directly connect to the RDKL um, uh, um, Instagram page. And you can see how they have nice classic images. And then if you go to their actual page, this is the uh, uh, images that they have, and it gets uploaded um, along with the new updates they have. And it's an API. It's just an API that you can just upload into your uh, website. It's not hard for us to add. I would definitely make sure that we add something like that here at the bottom or, or at the top, or maybe like an Insta page right here, or even on the gallery page, instead of just loading up the images like this. Uh, I mean, they're nice images, but actually making sure that um, you have an Instagram page because you want to make sure that uh, people um, um, can connect through you via Instagram and can see the social proof in that. It's also an SEO factor because if you link your Instagram account to your website, Google gives you credit in, from an SEO perspective as well, which makes me uh, brings me a final segue right here, this like page. Um, you'll see that this only does this little little thing right here this weird like icon, what you want to do is it has to actually be a link to your Facebook page because from an SEO perspective, this doesn't do anything for you, but you want to make sure it links out. And that's just uh, just an SEO factor that you just want to do real quick. Um, some other thing is having a maps images. Anyways, uh, I'll wrap it up here. I just thought a little technical stuff, but we can absolutely help you. We can make it so that you get on the top of the uh, front page on Google. Uh, we can even do Facebook ads. And if you have like a really good um, uh, discount or an offer, um, if, if it's good enough, we can run some ads and you'll be able to convert those leads um, that are uh, that have positive ROI. If you are a client of ours, we'll manage all your uh, paid advertising for free. You just paid for the ad spend. So if you want to spend $10 a day, that's $300 a month, you, you, you just have to pay for that yourself. We won't charge you, uh, we won't tack any extra on there and say, hey, we're going to collect 10% of your ad spend, blah, blah, blah. As long as you are our SEO client, we'll manage those portions of that for you for free. And so, and we're very good at that as well. Uh, we have plenty of funnels and things like that we run that have just done amazing, amazing, especially for our massage and dentist clients, surprisingly, and some lawyer and lawyer uh, lawyer stuff. And so uh, that's the kind of thing that we would do. Um, like I said, this uh, this kind of project is not hard. And um, I don't mean to uh, be offensive when I say this, but um, the the kind of uh, quote that I, I sent out to you isn't a very large contract for us, right? We have dentists and lawyers that have that charge pay us anywhere between three to five thousand dollars a month. And even uh, national accounts that pay us even more. So um, uh, 
it's not hard for us to rank you for this. And uh, once we start doing that and start ranking you on the first page, uh, you're start you're gonna start getting leads. You're gonna start getting people calling you and contacting you. And you're not gonna have to worry about uh, reaching out to people and doing things like that. The only uh, only thing that I recommend is making sure that you hold on to that list and you ask for referrals and you continue to um, connect with them and vibe with them that way um, you keep you stay in their ear and their eyes right so then uh, when you hold on to those emails and, and phone calls and things like that you can always reach out to them and be like hey I just want to let you know that we're doing the service blah 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 uh, if you know anyone that, uh, in the area um, we'll give them a discount and uh, and, and do, do a kickback for you or whatever or however you want to set that up just so that you can continue to build your business out that way but I, I promise you 10 minutes it's going on on 15 I'll wrap it up here if there's anything other other questions you have with this video I'm, I'm more than happy to answer it um, I'll, I'll send this proposal out um, I am actually running out of time here at the office today so I'll send out the proposal to you tomorrow but at the very least you'll have this video to go over and then maybe if you have any questions we can go over that as well on on Wednesday I believe is what we said so I appreciate it and I'll wrap it up here Arian and I look forward to talking to you then all right thank you